thing that ever happened to you on a plane, Sashir? Oh. Why don't you go first? Ooh, I just took a trip to Europe and everyone hated my carry-on luggage because it was yellow. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But they like, one guy in France was like, oh, I'm sure it won't fit. You Americans always have these bright, huge luggage. And I was like, okay, sizest, colorist, wow. And it did not fit, so I had to go. <laughs> Nicole, how about you? Well, I would say once I found a piece of in my blanket. Oh, that's right. Yeah, which is real, but honestly, Flying economy. <laughs> this year was once in first class and I was in comfort plus and I kept saying, I don't belong back here. And she kept um, asking me for cookies. And they, <laughs> she's like, ask them for cookies. They wouldn't give me cookies. I was like, give me the Biscoffs. And they gave me one and they gave her 10. And, <laughs> Did anyone recognize you back there and go, what? What? No, not no. a single person. <laughs> No, you think I'm more successful than You're I am. You're very successful. In some circles. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo, how about you? Honestly, the worst thing uh, that happened, it wasn't to me, it was to Sashir. <laughs> so we go, we do New Year's trips every single year, and one year we went to Italy. We got upgraded to first class and we were like eating steaks. No, there steaks. was one upgrade available. Sashir was number one on the list, and I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. But wait. Oh, hold on, wait. Now, this is this is January of 2020, so as COVID was starting, Sashir wrapped herself like a mummy. We have a photo, wait. And then, this is Sashir. <laughs> I mean, this is the wardrobe equivalent of first class. Yeah. I feel like if I was that, like, bandaged up, I'd be like, this is, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm totally good. Yeah. All right, panel, tonight you'll all be playing for this rubber stamp that says approved. <laughs> You can give your stamp of approval, literally. <laughs> Let's get into it. This year has thrown us a lot of curveballs, but something that came out recently that no one saw coming, Peter Griffin on Hot Ones. How are you around spicy food? Fine, I've had every strain of COVID, so I taste nothing. That's the first time I've heard that one. Have, have any of you guys done Hot Ones? No, but I really, really want to. Yeah, did you see this and you're like, cartoons? Yeah. <laughs> me. I was like, Where's my publicist, for real? <laughs> well, one person saw this coming. Ex-user MidSmoker34 posted in 2022, just got chills imagining Peter Griffin on Hot Ones. <laughs> now I have chills too. How, I want it. How far did he have to dig through his own tweets to find mm. that? To comment on himself, like, Alex, we've got issues. <laughs> Well, I want in on this phenomenon. Everybody, make a wild prediction so that when it comes true, we can all say we called it. So here. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants registers to vote, but not for the person you want. Oh. Mateo. Susan Boyle replaces Mariah Carey as the Christmas queen. <laughs> can you imagine? Okay, so beloved PBS icon Arthur starts an OnlyFans and shows his. <laughs> oh, ew! Don't do that! Don't do that! Ew! <laughs> A lot of the whole audience is like, finally! <laughs> Breaking. <Instead of> PW, <laughs> it's. I cannot wait to see if that makes it. <laughs> I, that I actually will. Wait. That's already happened. <laughs> Breaking up with an artist is risky business. I'm a stand-up, so if you break up with me, I'll probably talk about it on stage and maybe <laughs> next <laughs> Yeah. But if you break up with a musical comedian, it could become a viral song. Take a look at this video from TikTok user Sprightly Not The Soda. Imagine you live in LA with your boyfriend and everything's going amazing till he says, babe, I wanna move back to Texas. To be closer to my dad So you give up half of your career Quit your improv troupe and have a goodbye party Take off months of work, deplete your savings To pay for movers and drive to Texas So worth it for the love of your life That wants a future with you because he said so So you spend a month waiting for your to arrive And then another month moving in and building furniture and stuff and No, no, no. I, 
I'm on his side. <laughs> that was the dumbest song I've ever seen in my, I can't imagine. Like, of course he broke up with us. The that whole audience was clapping. Fine. They were all clapping, Awful. the whole song. I can't imagine a breakup That's song. That's a hit song. Just I, do, I, what, I, do what gays do on Grindr and block them and never talk again. <laughs> No, I loved it, and I love that this man ruined her life. And she's like, "But my improv troupe." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she sacrificed her improv troupe no. for him. That's no. a community. No. That's the longest video we've ever shown. I loved every second of it. Nothing could be cut. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing could be cut. So, panelists, we've all been scorned by love. Give me a line from your own personal breakup song. Oh. So here. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. <laughs> I'm not a songwriter. I just <laughs> would take from Liquid <laughs> <laughs> Not big enough. <laughs> Do you know her? She's why? I do know her. <laughs> I know Taylor Swift. It doesn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taylor. No, it's fine. I'm... You guys, I'm working! Okay. No, sh stop. Stop. Currently, Mateo's in the lead with 3,300 points. When we come back, we're objectifying men. It's about time. Don't miss out.